Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, and you? Hello. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Everything good? Yes, teacher. Nice. Awesome. Gracias a todos for being here. Thank you so much for joining like super, super early. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to be, give me one second here. Okay, so we are going to be having today our session number 11. Por ahí veía que alguien preguntaba la fecha de, de finalización del módulo. Terminamos el próximo jueves, chicos. We will be finishing next eh, Thursday. Así que solo nos faltan un par de clases más. And then we are good. Deme un segundito. So, uh, to get us started today, we are going to be checking um, a topic related to some seasons. We are going to be checking vocabulary. Y tenemos como un par de cositas pendientes, right? Uh, desde ayer. So yesterday, um, teníamos como una conversación que vamos a practicar con possessivos. You were supposed to check some possessive words and we are going to be like uh, taking a look at those today, right? Así que si me ayudan, please, eh, con sus cámaras. Help me out with your cameras, guys. Let me see your faces. So we can take a look at you. Give me one second. Tengo que ver el mismo de ti. ¿Qué es lo que quieres hacer? Tengo que ser un pero una verdad. Okay, there we go. So everybody, if you can be so kind, please to help me with your cameras. Let me go over attendance. Y me ayudan con un present, please. So help me with a present when I say your name. Okay, here we go. Uh, my first person is Bismarck. Bismarck, estamos por acá. ¿Qué pasado con Bismarck? What's going on? Guys, alguien es compañero de Bismarck by any chance? No. Probably not. Okay. Uh, Claudia Patricia. Edgardo Vladimir. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Edwin. Evelyn Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Thank you. Fatima Elizabeth. Francisco Alexander. Present. Thank you, Francisco. I'm happy you're here. Gerardo Alexis. Present. Thank you. Eh, Germán María. Perdón, Germán Mejía. <laughs> I'm sorry, Germán. <laughs> no problem. Present. Oh my God, thank you. I'm sorry, ya no leo bien. Gerson Rubén. <laughs> Present. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Beatriz. 
Okay. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth. Jorge Jule. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Naum. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carla Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carla Stephanie. Okay. Kelvin Miguel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Luis Mario. Present. Luis. Carla. Present. Oh, oh, sorry. Carla Stephanie, right? Sí. Gracias. Luis. Lo escuché, Luis. María René. Present. Thank you. Mirma Ismari. Present. Excellent, Miss. I'm glad to see you here. Nancy Carolina. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alfredo. Creo que veo a Nelson. Present. Okay, Present. thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eh, Roberto Antonio. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Carlos. Present. Awesome, thank you. Sara Elisa. Present. Thank you, Sara. And Silvia Ivonne. Okay. Jessica Odalis. And Maria Angelica. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for uh, getting your cameras ready. Lo mencioné todos. Did I, did I miss every, anybody? Me hizo falta alguien? Maybe not. Okay. Okay, guys. So yesterday, estábamos pendientes like, with one activity. And I want to get started with this uh, because we have like a lot of things to practice today. So we were supposed to practice a little. Um, so we were supposed to practice just a little bit. And um, I don't know if your groups are complete, si les faltan miembros, if anybody is missing. So, el, el grupo de quien está completo, chicos? Edwin, is your group complete? Estuvo con nosotros ayer, Edwin? Oh, let me take a look. No estuve en la clase ya, teacher. Yeah, I, I didn't remember that. Okay, okay, let me see. Eh, Robert, creo que habíamos quedado pendientes como con su grupo, right? Yes. Está su grupo completo ahora. Is it complete? Uh, no. Todavía no. <laughs> they haven't joined as of yet. Okay, it's okay. So hagamos algo. Let's start with the topic today. And as the time, you know, goes on, eh, los compañeros se van a incorporar and we can definitely present by the end. Okay, so está super bien, no hay problema. No worries. Uh, so, give me one second. Today, eh, today's objective is to speak a little bit about some seasons, all right? So, eh, hemos estado revisando clothing, hemos estado revisando posesión, right? Ayer revisamos mine, mind, el, el uso del apóstrofe S to talk about position. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más, ¿Con qué más me pueden ayudar? Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Yes, we have been checking some possessive adjectives. Today, vamos a trabajar con dos temas bien importantes. El primero es eh, seasons, ok, que es como un tema bastante cortito y luego hablamos de actividades que están pasando ahorita, como que están haciendo. Normally we are in classes, pero no solo estamos en clases, you know, tenemos un ojo aquí, el otro allá. <risa> tenemos un oído aquí, and then el otro allá. So estamos oyendo a la teacher, pero también al vecino, al primo, you know, etc. So we are going to be talking about that, como qué es lo que estamos haciendo additional eh, to the activities that we are having today. So let me start presenting the video of today's class. So uh, objective number one is you will become familiar with the weather seasons. Okay. In El Salvador, I have to say, we have only two seasons, winter and summer. Yeah. Uh, o hace mucho calor, or, or it's very, very hot, or it's like super cold and windy. Yes, es todo. 
<laughs> we don't have like a lot of seasons. But eh, just in case, let's take a look at the video para que también eh, llevemos como esta parte de cultura, right? Like what is going on in other countries y como le llamamos a las, todas las estaciones, how we call all stations around the world. So let me make this video a little bit bigger so you can visualize it and let me mute myself. Let me play it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. Okay, everybody, so let's take at some of the things that we have right here. Uh, first, it says it's spring in Brazil, okay? So spring, what is a spring for us? What is a spring for us? Verano. Um, yes. Primavera. Yes. Primavera. Yes. Primavera. Excellent, exactly. I mean, para nosotros no hay, right? We don't have four seasons. We have only two seasons, but in a spring, it's es the cambio de, de colores, right? We see all these changes in colors in the trees and everything goes green, a lot of flowers, beautiful flowers, okay? Yes, so that's uh, spring. The other one says it's summer in Korea, okay? So it's raining, it's raining. It's hot and humid, okay? What do you prefer? Do you prefer, um, do you prefer summer? Or do you prefer winter? ¿Cuál de los dos prefieren? Yes. Summer or winter? Winter. 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 ¿En qué estamos summer. ahorita? Summer or winter? <laughs> summer. Right now it's summer, right? Summer. Estamos yes. Estamos en summer. Mm -hmm. So we summer. are in summer. Let me help with illumination que me veo bien oscura here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, right now we are kind of in summer, so it's kind of hot. <laughs> Está como bien caliente, right? It's really hot and humid. Se siente como, como húmedo. Eso de entre caliente and húmedo, right? So humid. Then we have this one. It's fall in the USA. Can you tell me a characteristic? What is a characteristic of fall? It's cool, cloudy, and windy. So there are winds. Mm -hmm. What is the characteristic of fall? And these are las fotos. Have you seen the pictures? Have you ever been in another country? Y es como todas las hojitas se caen, right? Trees change colors. They get orange, um, yellow, okay? Autumn. So that is fall. Or autumn, exactly. Fall or autumn. That's another way to call it. Y el último is winter. So it is winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. In El Salvador, it doesn't snow. Uh, so no, no. No cae nieve, right? It doesn't snow. So it's cold, but not very cold. So si es helado, pero no tanto, right? So it's cold, but not very cold. Now, these are the, the seasons that we have. Yeah, temperature. Right. Mm -hmm. And now the temperature. You see here the thermometer, so it tells you kind of the temperature that it has. So 21 degrees uh, for spring, 
10 degrees for fall. So it's un poquito más helado, right? And it's cloudy and windy. But now let's take a look at this conversation right here because uh, this is like. We're in Russia. It's snowing. It's very. Okay, so this is what we will practice. So uh, first, I would like to have two volunteers. Volunteers? I need yeah. two. <laughs> Eh, ok, enfrente lo, yo vi la manita de Roberto y de los dos Robertos, así que <laughs> guys, help me please es Roberto Morales help me reading the part of Pat en Roberto Betancourt, ayúdenme con Julie, please ok oh no what's the mother? it's snowing and it's very cold are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you were in your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a, tex a taxi. Uh, thanks, Jules. You can say Robert, that's good. <laughs> okay, excellent. I like it. Very good pronunciation, guys. So let's repeat these questions. Let's repeat. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's, what's the matter? What's the matter? So guys, what's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay, what's the matter? Si decimos what's the problem, suena mucho más pesado, right? Como si realmente hay un problema. So it, it's okay we say what's the matter? ¿Cómo que pasa? Right? Um, so the person says here, it's a snow wind. Está cayendo nieve and it's very cold, right? What about, what about now? ¿Cuál es nuestra temperatura? ¿O cómo está el, el season? How is the weather like? Mm, 17 degrees. 17? Yes. Okay. Creo que está más caliente. I don't know. Okay. Is it cold? Is it, okay, let, let's go back. Is it, we have a couple of ways to say it. We can say it's sunny. So hay como mucho sol. Is it sunny? Uh, cloudy. Están como el, cierro, el cielo cerrado. Y muchas nubes está nublado, cloudy, or windy. Hay como vientos, is it windy, or it's very cold. What do you think? It's windy and, windy. and cold. So windy and cold, okay. Windy and cold. Anything else? I think it's sunny. No está muy soleado. Isn't it sunny? I mean, ahorita no, right? <laughs> but durante el día, but during the day, is it sunny? Yes, it's sunny. Sorry, yes, it's sorry sunny. guys. No, no salgo de, de mi casa, así que I don't know. <laughs> but let's say that it's sunny. Okay, so it's sunny. It's raining, probably not. So it's raining, es como en este momento está lloviendo. So we are going to take a look at this in a second. Okay, thank you. Now, um, let's take a look. Uh, I would like to have just two more volunteers. Those must me ayuden a leerlo, please. And uh, Francisco, Mirma. thank you. I see your hand. And Mirma, perfect. Sorry, guys. Eh, no, no me cubre mucho la pantalla, así que si, ajá, si me ponen como un emoji o algo, I can take a look at her. So Mirma, ayúdeme con Pat. Y Francisco, ayúdeme con Julie. Solo hagamos un pequeño cambio. Donde dice, por ejemplo, gloves, cambiémosle por otro Otro, otra palabra, right? Yeah, Intentamos modificar, modificarlo un poquito. Mm -hmm. Let's try to modify it a little. Solo podemos modificar como unas okay. palabritas, some things, so okay. we can work on it. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so, yeah. Mirma, you can start, I think. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing tie? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing you are sweet. But my sweet isn't warm and I'm not wearing boot. Okay, uh, let's oh, handle. <laughs> okay, let's take a bus. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. That was very nice. That was good, actually. And, uh, and thank you for volunteering. Now let's take a look at a couple of words. 
Okay. For example, acá la persona dice, it's snowing. So, en ese momento estaba nevando, right? Are you wearing gloves? Como ahorita. Are you wearing gloves? Is anybody wearing gloves? No, right? I don't think so. Alguien está usando gloves, like eh, guantes? Are you wearing gloves? No. I don't think so. No. Are no. you wearing a mask? Alguien anda una mascarilla? Are you wearing a face mask? I mean, right now? No. Ahorita? No. no. Ahorita no. <laughs> All right, not inside the house. Okay. Are you wearing, I don't know, uh, glasses? Are you wearing glasses? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Okay. De hecho, yes. algunos. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you wearing, I don't know, a sweater? Are you wearing a sweater? No. Yes. No, no yes. Who said no. yes? Who is yeah. wearing a sweater? Me. Mary! Oh, Roberto! Okay. Mm. Is, 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 is it cold? Yes. Este lado? Yes. 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 Where do you live? Uh, Santa Tecla. In my Tecla. house is... It's... Santa Tecla? <laughs> yes. Okay, Santa Tecla. Mary, and you? I live in San Martin. Oh, and it's cold? Um, a so, little. So. Um, donde yo vivo, sí, por la cantidad de árboles que hay. Ay, nice, super cool. Okay, here sí. it's very hot. Okay. <laughs> anybody else is wearing a sweater or a scarf? Is anybody wearing a scarf? I don't, I don't see no. like some of you, maybe no, not. No. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at this. Están preguntando como de cosas de ahorita, right? Lo que está pasando right now, lo que es ahorita anda puesto. So I can ask you like, are you wearing a blouse? Are you wearing a dress? Are you wearing a t-shirt, right? So let's take a look at one more video. Okay, so we can get familiar with this new topic. Give me one second here. So I can present it. Give me one sec. Let me connect my internet. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, so let me share my screen. So we are talking about these things that you are wearing, que ahorita andan puestos, that you are wearing right now. So let's take a look at the second objective of the night. You will be able to form statements using present continuous. So let's take a look at what present continuous is, guys. Let me share this. Okay, ¿alguna vez han escuchado de present continuous? Have you ever yes. heard about this? No. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. So, present continuous, present progressive. Okay. Son tiempos gramaticales, pero pongamos la atención a cómo lo usamos. Because vamos a practicarlo ahorita en a couple of seconds. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb 
in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me. Okay, I will stop the video right there because we are going to practice negative statements later. Okay, now let's focus in the use of present continuous. It says that present continuous, we use it to talk about what is going on ahorita, right now, okay? So what is happening? Uh, or algo que es diferente, right? Like new routines, new things that are happening these days, temporary actions, etc. So let's take a look. In the video, you saw that there are a couple of things that we have to follow. So let me add it right here. So you have a subject, okay? Then we have verb B. Then we have the verb, another verb, but this verb with ing. And then we have a complement. Y al final terminamos con ya sea un puntito, right? O con un signo de interrogación. So, dependiendo what is the correct punctuation that we need to use, right? And that's it. Now, let me ask you, hey, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing? So, uh, maybe estoy, estoy comiendo algo, estoy tomando algo, estoy escuchando, estoy viendo, estoy, I mean, anything that you are doing right now. So, por lo general somos como multitasking y hacemos varias cosas al mismo tiempo, right? <laughs> I don't know if this happens to you, but for example, we have the verb, let me make this a little bit bigger. I have, for example, the verb eat, okay? Pero dice que el verbo, yo le debo de agregar algo más. I have to add something else. That is ing. So I have it. And then I add ing. And this becomes in eating. Okay? Yes, el verbo. All right? I have, for example, sleep. Okay, so this is the normal verb. This is the, the common one. So... ¿Qué le voy a agregar? ING y ya se convierte en sleeping. Ok. So, eating, sleeping. Let me make it with a different color. Ok. Uh, I have, for example, John. All right. Any idea? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa this verb? No, no teacher. No, teacher. No. What's me? Let, let me do the action. That's like. Mm, Okay. <laughs> okay, so si alguien lo está haciendo, this is the name of the activity. So, si alguien está bostezando, so we are going to use ING to talk about this activity, you know? So pretty much lo que hacemos es agregarle ING. So what about the rest? What about the missing parts? I simply say, oh, I, y con I, mi conjugación del verbo to be es I am. So I am eating, I am sleeping, I am joining right now because I'm tired, I'm drinking water, I am eating dinner, okay? So I am eating dinner, I am sleep. well, I'm sleeping, no tendría mucho sentido, right? No podemos decirlo si estamos durmiendo. <laughs> but I can say, for example, my dog is sleeping. So my dog... My dog is sleeping. Eso sí lo puedo hacer. And this is good. Okay. Uh, my sister 
es Jody. So my sister is like, oh, yeah. So guys, tell me, ¿qué están haciendo? What are you doing right now? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing right now? I am writing the class. Okay, so I'm writing. I'm taking notes. Mm -hmm. I am listening yeah. your explanation. I'm listening. Okay, very good. So you're paying attention. <laughs> okay, what else? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I am learning English. Right now. Oh, very good. I'm learning. I'm practicing. Yes, that's good. I am está watching comiendo? the class. I am watching the class. Okay. Yo estoy viendo a todos. <laughs> I'm checking everybody's camera. I'm not just kidding, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. ¿Qué más? What else? Tell me. My, my, son, my son watch TV. Oh, ahorita, como ahorita, Francisco. Yo yes, estoy viendo. Ah, Miss so my son is watching TV. Very good. ¿Qué okay. está viendo? What is he watching? Mm, I think, I think Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Entonces, acá en el complemento yo puedo decir eso. I can add those details. So that can be like my son. Well, not es mi hijo. Entonces puedo decir Francisco son. Francisco. Oopsie. Francisco. Y como ya vimos los posesivos, Francisco son. Es. Es. Watching. Netflix. Netflix. Uh -huh. Y ahora armamos la oración. So Francisco son okay. is watching Netflix. Very good. Thank you for that example. That's a very good example. Okay. Uh, anything else? Anything else? What about the rest? Guys, quienes tienen la cámara apagada, díganos, cuéntenos. What are you doing? <laughs> so, or uh, what is it? Are you eating? Are you I, taking a rest? I am eating. Oh, nice. Um, enjoy it. Enjoy your meal. En English, no tenemos una forma de decir como buen provecho, right? Entonces, eh, podemos usar esta que es enjoy your meal. Se las comparto para que también la puedan utilizar. So, gracias por conectarse, Silvia. Oh, acabo de ver su mensaje. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so enjoy your meal. That's the word for the buen provecho. Okay, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So this is the way we describe what people is doing. Preguntas, do you have any question? Es el, el progresivo, es ese. Este se llama continuo o progresivo, sí. That's correct. That is totally fine. Okay, perdón, acá Teacher. se me quedó una letra. Yes, Francisco. Fíjese que yo siempre he tenido confusión en, en el uso de, de los tiempos. Uh -huh. Este, y digamos así, este tiempo en específico en, eh, solo se utiliza para cuando yo estoy haciendo algo en el momento o hay alguna excepción. Eh, claro, eh, los tiempos hay, siempre tiene como excepciones, todo depende de lo que usted quiera indicar. Este tiempo también se usa para futuros, para hablar de eh, como acuerdos o cosas que usted está casi seguro que se van a cumplir, pero luego lo van a utilizar para futuro. Eh, por el momento vamos a enfocarlo en la parte de como ahorita lo que está pasando, you know? pero sí tiene más usos. Eh, los tiempos no son restrictivos sometimes. Tienen dos, tres usos. Entonces, okay. todo depende de lo que queremos decir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, les voy a compartir okay. un par de verbos. I'm going to share with you a couple of verbs. Y ayúdenme, please, help me con cuál sería la forma de ING. Vamos a ver que hay también una excepción en la parte mm -hmm. de spelling con ING, all right? So, let me just add a couple more. Um, let's take a look at these verbs. Let's take a look at the ones that are in black. Okay. And help me please with the ING form. Para algunos de ellos vamos a cambiarlo. For some of them, we will have to make uh, some changes. Okay. I got, for example, read. 
So this automatically becomes in ribbing. So I and G and we are good. Right. Cuando termina con I, se la quito because I don't need it. Y lo convierto en I and G. So, una excepción, writing. Okay. Cuando lleva I al final, when you have E, we don't need it. So this becomes in G. writing. Okay. G. Now, let's take a look at this one. We have swim. It is, este verbo es bien cortito, right? Swim. Super cortito. Una sílaba. Y tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio acá. Como es un verbo bien cortito, para que me suene bonito, voy a agregarle una letra más y luego el ing. So this is going to be swimming. Siempre que vean un consonante, vocal consonante, y es un verbo corto, duplicamos. We are going to double the last letter. No son muchos verbos, but it happens. Clean. ¿Creen que puedo duplicarlo? What do you think? ¿Tiene consonante, vocal, consonante? Yes. Pero consonante, vocal, consonante, en ese orden, en ese orden. Uh -huh. Clean no porque hay dos vocales, no. right? Eso es vocal, vocal, ya no se puede. Entonces, clean. Uh -huh. So solamente consonante, vocal, consonante. Okay. Uh, the following is play. So, with these verbs, no hago nada, solo ing. Play, lo mismo, ing. Type, ¿qué hago con la i? What do I do with the letter i? Quita. I the letter E by, by, by A. Perfect. Yes, I don't need it. So type in. Okay. I got the following. Make. What do we do with the E? I eliminate it. Making. Making. Exactly. So because I don't need it. And de hecho, la E al final no tiene sonido. Dance. Again, no pronuncio like. So I don't need it. And then I have dancing. Okay. So, this is an ING, and that's ING form. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Are we good? ¿Estamos bien con spelling? Teacher? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What mean typing? Or type? Oh, yeah, typing is, I am, I am typing right now. In the computer, I type. I use my fingers, so I type. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I am typing. What is the difference with write? Um, writing is on paper. So on paper or in a very general way. Pero type is digital. Like literally, like the word digital. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You are welcome. Any other question? Mm. Mm, me quedan ahí eh, eh, las reglas. De, de las palabras que terminan ajá, cuando se les pone el ING y el que se quita y se le pone esa es mi confusión ahorita uh, ok, the only example that we have here is this one that is swimming right, because the verb is swim, es como bien cortito y tiene consonante vocal consonante Another verb que puede entrar en la categoría es cut. Because, exactly. Si lo leen así, consonante, vocal, consonante. So, ¿qué hago con ellos? Le agrego una T. And then, ING. Le agrego una M. And then, ING. Ya voy. I have, for example, another one that is put. De poner, right? Put something. So, le voy a agregar. Ok. Y la T al final la leemos como una R. So, eso puede ser uh, pudding, okay. I am pudding. Estoy poniendo algo. I'm putting something. Mm -hmm. So cutting, pudding, okay. Swimming. So that's the ing. Estamos bien. Are we okay? Hay algunos verbos que se han excluido de ese tiempo. Uh, yes, of course. There are some verbs. Porque estos indican acciones. Entonces, hay verbos que no necesariamente son acciones. But, in the meantime, no vamos a revisarlos porque es una lista bastante extendida que tenemos que aprendernos y memorizarlos. But, I want you to practice. Más que, que eh, la regla gramatical en handle, en manage de, de grammatical rules, quiero que lo practiquemos. Así que vamos a revisarlo like, later on. Uh -huh. No worries. 
So, everybody, let's take a look at the following. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita is the next. I want you to think about your family, okay? I want you to think about the people who live with you, your friends, your family members, and anybody, and tell me, ¿qué están haciendo ahorita? So what is your family doing right now? Y pues si no los logran ver, invéntenselo, you're fine. <laughs> so that's totally fine. You can talk about your family members, your friends, your boss, okay? Um, so anybody you know. So what are they doing right now? Uh, for example, I got, I see Nancy, okay, on my screen. So, mi primera pantalla es de Nancy. I see Nancy y la veo así como bien pensativa, you know. So, I can come and I say, uh, Nancy is, right? Nancy is, y voy a usar este verbo. Nancy is thinking, Nancy is thinking, a lot. So, la veo bien pensativa. Así que I think that Nancy is thinking a lot. Está pensando bastante. So, she is thinking a lot. All right. So, um, I will give you only two minutes. Please, on a piece of paper and your notebook, escribamos. ¿Qué están haciendo los, eh, sus familiares? Okay. O incluso los compañeros que están. You can see the cameras. And uh, you can, like, get a, a picture, right, of what they are doing. So what are they doing? Ok, so aquí en pequeñito les he dejado la conjugación del verbo be. <laughs> um, is and are. So y, y you can attach it, ok, para que siempre recordemos incluirlo. All right, so I am, um, my sister is, my friends are, ok. So this is highly important, ok. This is really important. So do not omit it, please. One more minute. Uh, guys, I'm reading your examples in the chat. They are super good. Congrats. Yes, They're very good.
Um, in this part, you can be very specific. Pueden dar más detalles. You can give more details, all right? Um, for example, I believe that uh, my brother, you know, my brother loves soap operas. ¿Saben qué es una soap opera? No. Okay. No, teacher. What is it? So let me share. My brother loves soap operas. So I think, no, no lo estoy viendo, but I think, I believe he is watching the soap opera. Eh, ¿Cuál es la que le gusta? El, oh my God, I have forgotten the names of the soap operas. Sería como una novela eso. Yeah, that's a novela actually. Let's say Pasión de Gavilanes. So, um, I think, I cannot say him, but I think that he is watching the Sopopra Pasión de Gavilanes right now. Okay. So, that's what I think. Eh, Carla, creo que tenía una pregunta. I saw your hand up. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, no se queden con la duda. If you have questions, no problem. Let me know. Uh, no se les olvide el verbo vi. Está, wait, I'm going to change color. <laughs> Probably it's too small. So let me get a different. Let me get a different color here. Um, maybe this one. Okay. So remember, bird B is super, super important. So let's go. Um, time is over for us, okay, to finish writing here. So, the untouchable. Okay. And uh, guys, I want you to practice, okay? I want you to go ahead and practice in groups and tell your classmates. Si ustedes no se recuerdan o si no logran cómo encontrar ¿Qué es lo que están haciendo? Invéntenselo. I mean, it's totally fine. So, give me one second. Chicos, les acabo de enviar una invitación. Vamos a los grupos rapidito. Les compartimos a los compañeros nuestros ejemplos, right? And listen to your classmates. Y si podemos corregirlo, si les falta algo, please go ahead and, y también lo agregan. No hay problema. So, let's go, guys. Go, go, go.
Hey guys, so uh, thank you for coming back. Todavía nos faltan compañeros. We are still missing some uh, people there. Okay, but, but in the meantime, mientras el resto se unen, uh, tell me guys, what are some activities that your family is doing right now? So what are they doing? My family, for example, my parents are watching movies. A movie. Oh, okay, so they're watching a movie, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, my classmates are completing the activity. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Herson, go Herson. My brother-in-law is playing video games. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Thank you. Anybody else? My dog is biting her bed. Your dog is biting. Biting, biting. Like the bite. masticando the bite. Morder. Okay, so your dog is biting the? Her bed. Oh, la, la camita. Okay, uh -huh. so, yeah, gotcha. Okay, so my dog is uh, biting the bed. Okay, anybody else? Uh, my father uh, eating his dinner. Okay, so your father is eating dinner. Very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? My mother is hanging her clothes. Your mother is? Okay, can you repeat? Can you repeat, please? Your mother is? My mother is hanging up her clothes. Okay, so your mother is hanging up. Okay, her clothes. Gotcha. Thank you. That was a very good example. Really? Is she hanging up the clothes? Realmente está como colgando la ropa? Teacher, my son is flying. Your son is uh, video games? Yes. Is your son playing video games? Okay, so your son is playing video games. Okay, nice. Guys, actually, that was good. And that was really quick. I mean, you got it like super, super quick. Uh, super quick. Carla? I think you got a question. Uh, was he eating pizza? Eh, Carla, that's a good example. Solo que esto ya no sería ahorita, sino que sería de hablar como de ayer. De como mm -hmm. ayer a esta hora. ¿Estabas comiendo pizza? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Sí, se puede preguntar, pero... La idea ya no sería como de algo que está pasando ahorita, sino ayer. Cambiamos totalmente el enfoque. Mm -hmm. okay. So that would be yesterday. Ok, guys, antes de irnos, uh, quiero pasar asistencia. So si me ayudan, please, with your cameras, por si alguien no había llegado todavía when I was going over my attendance. So let me take a look at it. One second. One second. Guys, después de mañana solo nos van a hacer falta cuatro sesiones, ok? Así que, please, empezamos a trabajar en su plataforma. No lo dejemos para el último día. And si me ayudan para mañana completando las cuatro, totalmente, please. That would be super nice. So, let me go over here. Edgardo Vladimir, creo que no está, right? Claudia Patricia. Fatima Elizabeth, Glenda, creo que vi a Glenda, Gloria, Luis Mario, eh, Silvia, Silvia sí está acá. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ok, creo que haber visto a Glenda, I think I saw her some seconds ago. Maybe uh, it was my run. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for your attendance. Are you doing my please with the platform? It was nice talking to you. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good Bye, night. everybody. Good See ya. See you tomorrow. Sleeping. <laughs>